first. Talk to the devil. Source, ChatGPT. Napoleon Hill's Conversations with the Devil is a classic about self-growth and life philosophy. This book explores people's inner demons those negative thoughts, emotions, and behaviors and provides practical ways to overcome them and achieve personal growth and success. The book describes a fictional conversation in which the protagonist is a character named Hill and he has a conversation with a character named the Devil. This demon represents the negative forces in people's hearts, such as fear, laziness, inferiority, anger, etc., which prevent people from realizing their dreams and goals. Through this conversation, Hill shows readers how to recognize, understand, and manage these negative forces to achieve freedom and success. Conversations with the Devil is an inspiring book that provides valuable insights and advice to help readers overcome their inner obstacles and achieve their dreams and goals. This book has become a guide for many people in their pursuit of personal growth and success, and is widely considered an essential self-help book. Source, Blog The Unparalleled Father of Success in History, Napoleon Hill, after 25 years of research, his biggest goal is to research and develop a philosophy of success and explore the various factors that lead to success and failure. The biggest obstacle to success is not failure, but being driven by the devil to follow the crowd. Through dialogue, go straight to the heart of the devil and force him to speak his mind. The content in the book uses dialogue, question, and answer, to gradually force the devil to submit and confess, and to decipher the various methods and means used by the devil to control humans one by one. Expose the devil's tricks, conquer doubts, turn failure into success, and start a new life. When you are at your lowest ebb and frustrated, when you feel extremely disappointed in life, you will be filled with all kinds of suspicion, indecision, doubt, and fear. These are all tricks used by the devil to control us. If we can control our thoughts, the devil will none of his tricks are of any use. There is something wrong with the school system, and it has become a tool for the devil to control mankind. Schools force students to cram knowledge into their memories without teaching them how to organize and use knowledge. This kind of cramming education makes students focus on credits and ignores the important issue how to use knowledge in real life. What's the use of credits if people can't transform what they learn in school into meeting the material and spiritual needs of life? Churches and preachers are the devil's best allies. Churches and religious preachers are accomplices of the devil. When preaching, they undermine people's ability to think independently and develop the habit of following the crowd. Use various unproven ideas to explain an unknown world, trouble people's fragile minds, and plant fear into people's hearts. Human beings do not have to fear the devil or please God and be their own masters. What people want to conquer is not the devil, but how to control themselves not to be conquered by the devil. Be the master of your own destiny and the leader of your own soul. If humans are created in the image of God, we are born to create, and each of us has the power of God to create what we want. Positive thinking brings positive power, and negative thinking brings disaster. When a person thinks with a positive, successful, and wealthy attitude, he will establish a rhythm of attracting wealth. This is a law of nature. When a person thinks in terms of misery, failure, frustration, depression, and poverty, he establishes a rhythm that attracts these evils, and it is the devil who sends you to your destruction. Napoleon Hill author of the best-selling motivational book Think and Grow Rich in History. Think and Grow Rich has made extraordinary contributions to mankind and has far-reaching influence. Over the past several generations, this book has inspired thousands of people who pursue success. In 1938, after the publication of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill wrote Conversations with the Devil, a thought-provoking and shocking book. But his family and advisors agreed that the book was too controversial, so it has never been published. In the book, Hill teaches people how to break through taboos and break free from fear, doubt, and dependence. After lying dormant for many years, this book has finally been made public. More than 70 years later, Sharon Lichter, one of the most successful inspirational writers today, edited the original manuscript, interpreted and guided it to help today's readers understand the profound meaning of the book and escape from the devil's control. Living a prosperous life that is envied by everyone. In this book, Success Master Hill defeats the devil with his wit. After the devil became Hill's defeated enemy, he had no choice but to reveal his secrets and confess the means he used to control humans and lead them to destruction. In the book, Hill has a keen insight into human nature and reveals how people give up control of their own destiny and let negative thinking, negative destiny, and physical pain control their lives at will. Hill also helps us identify the four major obstacles to pursuing personal goals fear, procrastination, anger, and jealousy. According to the author's own words, the purpose of writing this book is to help people unlock the gates from their self-built cages. Conversations with the Devil does exactly that. When Hill wrote this book, the world was slowly emerging from the shadow of the Great Depression, but then immediately fell into global conflicts and turmoil. The political and economic uncertainties at that time coincided with today's the situation coincided. Second. Think and Grow Rich. Source, ChatGPT. Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich is a classic self-help book that explores successful mindsets and behavioral patterns and provides practical strategies and techniques to help readers achieve financial freedom and personal growth. 
The core idea of this book is that a winning mindset and attitude are the keys to achieving financial success. Hill believes that with the right thoughts and actions, anyone can achieve their dreams and goals. He emphasized that positive self-awareness, positive goal setting, firm belief and unremitting efforts are important factors in achieving wealth and success. Think and Grow Rich introduces many principles and strategies for success, including self-confidence, goal setting, creative thinking, perseverance, working with others, etc. Hill uses real cases and stories, as well as specific practical suggestions, to help readers understand these principles and apply them to their own lives and careers. Overall, Think and Grow Rich is a classic book about successful mentality and behavior. It has influenced several generations and has become a guide for many people to pursue wealth and success. This book provides valuable insight and guidance to help readers discover their potential and achieve personal and financial success. Source, Blog With the most understandable words and inspiring true stories, it tells you the key steps on how to turn your inner desires into real wealth. From motivation to action, self-suggestion, awakening the subconscious, creating an exclusive think tank, and even transforming sexual desire into the driving force for success, it covers all the important themes discussed in modern success studies and inspirational books. It is a must-read for everyone who desires success. The Get Rich Classic With no academic qualifications, no background, and no funds, how can I successfully become rich with a bad hand? As long as you have a clear goal and a strong desire, the entire universe will help you achieve your wish. It's too risky to rush into what others consider an impossible mission. Or should you leave a way out for yourself? The determination to break the boat will tell you what to do next and drive you to success step by step. So, how should I take the first step to becoming rich? First write down your desires in black and white to create your declaration of getting rich. Will you become rich by reciting the wealth declaration every day? Would it be too unrealistic? By giving commands to the subconscious through auto-suggestion, desires can be transformed into substantial wealth. I only have a dead salary. Now that the economy is in recession, it is extremely difficult to get a salary increase. All wealth comes from good ideas. What you should be selling is good ideas, not limited manpower. Why can everyone else come up with good ideas for making money, but why can't I? Clear goals and clear plans will stimulate your imagination, and good ideas will flow out endlessly. Actually, I have an idea to make money now, but I think we should think about it in the long term and not make a move rashly. Procrastination is the biggest obstacle to getting rich. Rich people are quick and decisive when making decisions and do not give up easily. There are so many obstacles on the way to pursuing your dreams. How can you persevere? Find a partner to realize your dream together. They will be your motivation to chase your dreams. I always worry about many things. If only I had the courage to give it a try. Don't let negative thinking occupy your brain. When you focus on your goals, your brain has no room to worry about other things. Third. Napoleon Hill. Source, ChatGPT. Napoleon Hill was an American author best known for his self-help books and success theories. His most famous works include Think and Grow Rich and Outwitting the Devil. Born in 1883, Hill's work mainly revolves around the themes of personal growth, the psychology of success, and financial freedom. He has studied the lives and careers of many successful people and refined a set of successful principles and strategies to help others achieve their dreams and goals. Think and Grow Rich is one of Hill's best-known works and is considered one of the classics of self-help books. This book explores successful mindsets and behavioral patterns and provides practical strategies and techniques to help readers achieve financial freedom and personal growth. In addition, Conversations with the Devil is a book that explores overcoming inner obstacles. Through a fictional dialogue, Hill shows readers how to recognize, understand, and manage inner negative forces to achieve success and freedom. Hill's work has had a profound impact on many people and has become a guide and inspiration for many people who pursue success and wealth. His concepts and strategies are still widely quoted and applied today and have become classics in the field of success studies. Source, Wikipedia. Oliver Napoleon Hill, English, Oliver Napoleon Hill, October 26, 1883 to November 8, 1970, was an American writer. Born into a poor family in the United States in 1883, he went to college and worked for a magazine. When he was 20 years old, he interviewed the famous steel magnate Andrew Carnegie for three days. At the end, Andrew said that if the young Hill was entrusted with a task that he wanted to complete but was beyond his capabilities, to visit and study many successful people, sum up their successful experiences and rules, and provide spiritual guidance to others and future generations, is Hill willing to accept it? This will consume Hill's life's energy, and the Steel King made it clear that he will not give him a penny of funding, but only introduces relationships. Hill accepted it within half a minute and was adamant that he would have a finish. Later, Hill interviewed more than 500 successful people, including inventor Edison, telephone patentee Bell, automobile king Henry Ford, President Wilson, President Roosevelt, and other prominent figures. 
On the basis of studying and thinking about their successful experiences, and relying on personal perseverance, he found the true meaning of life of successful people and wrote down the popular rules of success, making him the most famous inspirational mentor. Died on November 8, 1970, at the age of 87. Fourth. Self-enlightenment. Source, ChatGPT. Self-enlightenment is a broad concept that involves personal growth, self-awareness, and improvement in quality of life. This is an ongoing process that can be achieved in a variety of ways, including reading books, taking courses, communicating with others, reflecting and practicing, etc. Here are some self-help tips and advice. Reading and learning, read inspiring books and articles, learn new knowledge and skills, expand your thinking, and inspire inspiration. Communicate with others, build positive relationships with those around you, share ideas, experiences and feelings, learn from others and receive support. Reflection and practice, reflect on your own values, beliefs and behavior patterns and look for ways to improve. Apply the knowledge and concepts you have learned to real life, and continue to experiment and adjust. Set goals, establish clear goals and vision, and develop plans and strategies to achieve them. Goals inspire people to keep improving and growing. Cultivate self-discipline, establish good living and working habits, and maintain self-discipline and perseverance. Accept challenges, have the courage to face challenges and difficulties, learn from failures, and continue to grow and improve. Gratitude and charity, be grateful for every experience and person in life and give back to society and help others. These methods are not set in stone and can be adapted and applied based on individual needs and circumstances. Self-enlightenment is an ongoing process that requires constant effort and investment, but it can bring people a richer and more meaningful life. Source, Sandman Online Bookstore. 1. Positive Mental Attitude, PMA. 2. Set Clear Goals. 3. Self-Discipline. 4. Think Correctly. 5. Double Your Efforts. 6. Work Harder. 7. Establish a Think Tank. 8. Use faith. 9. Pleasant personality. 10. Passionate. 11. Concentrate. 12. Teamwork. 13. Remember the lessons of failure. 14. Innovative thinking. 15. Be careful with your time and money. 16. Maintain physical and mental health. 17. Use the law of cosmic inertia, general law of the universe. 5th. Steel King Andrew Carnegie. Source, ChatGPT. Andrew Carnegie, known as the Steel King was one of America's wealthiest and most influential industrialists in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Born in Scotland, Carnegie immigrated to the United States and achieved great success in the steel industry and other industries. One of Carnegie's most famous achievements is his steel empire, which he built during the Industrial Revolution in the late 19th and early 20th centuries and controlled many of the major steel companies in the United States. He used innovative production methods and vertical integration strategies to make his company one of the largest industrial companies in the world at the time. In addition to his industrial success, Carnegie was also known for his philanthropy. He believed that wealth should be used to benefit society, so he was actively involved in philanthropy and donated large amounts of his wealth to build libraries, universities, and other public facilities. Carnegie's philanthropy has had a profound impact on education in the United States and around the world. Carnegie's life story and success story inspired many, and he is considered one of the legends of American industry, and his spirit and influence continue to this day. Source, Wikipedia. Andrew Carnegie. English, Andrew Carnegie, November 25, 1835 to August 11, 1919, American philanthropist and entrepreneur. The world's steel king in the early 20th century. Born in Scotland, his father was a textile worker. When he was 12 years old, his family moved to Allegheny, Pennsylvania, in the United States because life was too difficult. When Carnegie was 13 years old, he worked as a child laborer in a textile factory, earning $1.20 a week, when he was 16. He was a telegraph carrier, earning $2.50 a week. In his spare time, Carnegie liked to read. This habit was mainly attributed to the inspiration of Colonel James Anderson, a veteran. Before the American Civil War, he formed a partnership with Woodruff, the inventor of a sleeper car, and the investment was a huge success. Carnegie and Woodruff shared considerable profits, becoming Carnegie's future further increase your wealth base through investments. In 1881, Carnegie and his brother Tom founded the Carnegie Brothers Company whose steel production accounted for one thirty-seventh of the United States. In the same year, he met another industrialist, Henry Clay Frick, and the two became business partners. In October 1886, Tom died at the age of 43. A few days later, Carnegie's mother also died of pneumonia. In 1889, Carnegie's main assistant, Director Jones, died in a workplace accident, and Andrew Carnegie suffered heavy blows one after another. In 1892, the company was renamed the Carnegie Steel Company. In 1892, in Homestead, Pennsylvania, 
Andrew Carnegie planned to lower wages, triggering a workers' strike. Carnegie's assistant Furick took the extreme step of blocking workers' access to the factory with a barbed wire fence. On July 1, he closed the factory in the immigration area. In the end, the governor dispatched 8,000 militiamen to suppress the labor movement with guns, causing dozens of casualties. The union leader George Deport was arrested and charged with murder, Carnegie was on vacation in Scotland at the time. And be able to stay out of it. The cause of the strike was that Andrew Carnegie used the power of the union to force competitors to give workers the same wages to increase their costs. When competitors fell one after another, the union became a heavy burden. In 1900, he declared in his book The Gospel of Wealth, I will no longer strive to earn more wealth. Carnegie believed in social Darwinism in his business life. In his Gospel of Wealth speech, he talked about how wealth is the foundation of social civilization. Competition determines that only a few people can become rich, while the majority, the poor, can only rely on live with the rich. But he added another line, declaring that the wealthy have a responsibility to use their money to benefit society as a whole. At the age of 28, he used all his assets to establish Keystone Bridge Works, devoted himself to the steel production industry, and became the king of the steel industry in the United States. When the open hearth steel making method was first invented, Carnegie spent millions of dollars to build a new factory in Homestead and add new equipment to produce 60% more steel. He later acquired an oil company, a railroad, and a large number of steamships. By the late 1880s, Carnegie Steel had become the world's largest producer of pig iron and coke, producing approximately 2,000 tons of pig iron per day. In 1888, Carnegie acquired the rival Homestead Steel Works. In 1901, he sold the Carnegie Steel Company for $480 million. At that time, the steel produced by the Carnegie Steel Company accounted for 25% of the total steel sales in the United States. Percent. At the peak of his career, Carnegie was the second richest man in the world. Today he is regarded as the second richest man in modern human history, second only to his contemporary Rockefeller. Sixth. Law of Attraction. Source, ChatGPT. The Law of Attraction is a concept widely used in the fields of self-help and success science. It is also known as the Law of Attraction or Law of Attraction. It is based on a core belief, what you attract into your life is aligned with your thoughts and emotions. This means that people's thoughts and emotional states affect the experiences, opportunities, and things they attract. The core concepts of the law of attraction can be summarized as follows. Thoughts create reality, people's thoughts and beliefs can shape their reality. Positive, stable thoughts attract positive experiences and opportunities, while negative thoughts can lead to negative outcomes. Focus and awareness, focusing your attention and awareness on what you want increases your attraction. By setting clear goals and visualizing and feeling what it would be like to have achieved your goals, you can help attract the experiences and opportunities you need. Emotions and vibrations, positive emotions and vibrations, such as joy, love, and gratitude, attract similar emotions and vibrations, which in turn attract corresponding experiences and opportunities. Action and confidence, along with positive thoughts and emotions, action and confidence are needed to achieve your goals. Positive actions can accelerate goal achievement, and confidence is the key to achieving goals. The law of attraction is widely discussed and used in many self-help and success books, courses, and teachings. While these concepts may be somewhat abstract, many people believe they can help them achieve their dreams and goals and lead a richer and more meaningful life. Source, Wikipedia. The law of attraction is a concept from the new thinking movement that holds that relationships can have positive or negative consequences through positive or negative thoughts. The law of attraction also generally refers to the process of attracting people with similar thoughts and being attracted to each other at the same time. It is a process of mutual attraction, not just the influence of one thought on another. In other words, Two people with similar mindsets are attracted to each other. Judging from the results, thoughts have a great attraction to things, but we can also see that things change as people change. This belief is based on people's belief that their ideas are generated from pure energy, as if one force attracts another force. An example to support this is if a person opens an envelope expecting to see a bill, then the law of attraction will acknowledge this thought and will see the bill after opening the envelope. When a person determines, rather than anticipates, the possibility of a check, by the same law, that person will find a check instead of a bill. Although in some cases, a positive or negative attitude will produce corresponding results, mainly due to the placebo effect and nospo effect, there is no scientific experimental basis for the law of attraction, and there are even many counterexamples. 7th. The Great Depression of 1929. Source, ChatGPT. The Great Depression of 1929 was one of the worst economic recessions of the 20th century and one of the world's worst financial crises. The Great Depression began with the stock market crash of October 1929 and was thought to be caused by excessive inflation and speculation in the U.S. stock market. The crisis has had widespread and far-reaching consequences for economies around the world, leading to mass unemployment, business closures, and poverty across the globe. 
After the stock market crash, many investors lost a lot of wealth, leading to panic selling and a sharp decline in stock prices. Subsequently, the financial crisis spread to the real economy, with companies cutting production and laying off workers, and consumption falling sharply, leading to a sharp contraction in economic activity. During this period, many banks also collapsed because they were unable to pay depositors, further exacerbating the financial panic and crisis of confidence. The Great Depression of 1929 had long-lasting effects on economies around the world, and recovery did not begin until the mid-1930s. In response to this crisis, many countries have adopted various policy measures, including monetary policy, fiscal policy and labor market reforms, to promote economic recovery. This economic crisis has also prompted many countries to strengthen supervision of their financial systems to prevent similar crises from occurring in the future. Source, Wikipedia. The Great Depression, English, Great Depression, also known as the Great Economic Crisis and the Great Economic Panic, refers to the global economic recession between 1929 and 1933 and the most serious global economic recession before World War II. The Great Depression was the longest, most widespread and most intense economic recession in the 20th century. The start time of the Great Depression varies from country to country, but most of them started in 1930 and lasted until the late 1930s or even the late 1940s. The Great Depression began in the United States, with the stock market falling on October 24, 1929. By October 29, it became the Wall Street crash of 1929, sweeping the world. The Great Depression brought devastating blows to both developed and developing countries. Per capita income, tax revenue, profits and prices fell across the board. International trade plummeted by 50%. The unemployment rate in the United States soared to 25%, and even reached 33% in some countries. Major cities around the world have been hit hard, especially areas that rely on heavy industry. Many countries have been unable to carry out construction projects, and agricultural product prices have plummeted by about 60%. Since there are no alternative types of work, the cash crops, mining, logging and other sectors in the primary industry have been hardest hit. Some economies began to recover in the mid-1930s, but most countries did not recover until the end of World War II. As with many major historical events, different economists have very different explanations for the causes of the Great Depression. Generally speaking, the market school scholars believe that the government's wrong regulations will extend a normal economic recession into the Great Depression. The government school scholars believe that the Great Depression shows the flaws of the capitalist market and call for more government regulation and intervention. 8. Positive Energy Source ChatGPT. Positive energy refers to a positive, optimistic, and constructive energy that can bring about positive influence and change. The word is usually used to describe a positive attitude, thought, or behavior that motivates and inspires people, helping them overcome difficulties, achieve goals, and improve the quality of their lives. Characteristics of positive energy include Positive attitude. Positive people usually have a positive, optimistic, and open attitude. They believe that they can overcome difficulties and achieve their goals. Belief and self-confidence. Positive people believe in their own abilities and worth. They are confident in themselves and others, and can respond positively to challenges and difficulties. Gratitude and charity, people with positive energy know how to be grateful for every experience and person in life, and are willing to help others and give back to society. Encouragement and support, positive people encourage and support others, help them achieve their dreams and goals, and are willing to share their success and happiness. Kindness and empathy, positive people usually have kindness and empathy. They care about the needs and feelings of others and are willing to help them overcome difficulties. Positive energy is of great significance to the health and happiness of individuals and society. It can promote people's mental health and emotional well-being, and can build positive and harmonious interpersonal relationships. Therefore, actively cultivating positive energy is a recommended lifestyle that can bring people a richer and more meaningful life. Source, Wikipedia. The word positive energy first originated from a book Water Knows the Answer written by Japanese Masaru Emoto in 2005. The book was introduced to China in 2009. Positive energy first appeared in the public eye in China in 2010. At that time, a Shenzhen court convicted Song Shan Mu, the owner of a local education company, of raping a female employee. According to reports, before the rape, Song Shan Mu said to the female employee, You are full of negative energy now, and I want to help you deal with it. This sentence evolved into a joke on the internet, You are full of negative energy and you need me to inject positive energy into you. At the end of 2012, Positive energy was selected as one of China's top 10 internet buzzwords in 2012 by Xia Wingkai Zizi. According to the description of the editorial board of Biting Words, positive energy was originally a term in physics, but under the influence of positive energy, rip it up, published by British psychology professor Richard Wiseman, the term positive energy was given a new name. Concepts in Psychology and Other Social Sciences 
Positive energy explains that behavioral patterns can affect people's beliefs, emotions, and willpower, and defines positive energy, which refers to all the motivation that gives people upward and hope, prompts people to continue to pursue, and makes life complete and happy. And feelings. At the same time, because many bloggers posted statements such as ignite positive energy and explode the small universe on Weibo, the term positive energy became widely used. In 2013, Zinhua Daily interpreted the expression principle in the book Positive Energy as saying that behavior causes emotions, and people can obtain corresponding emotional feelings through the expression of certain emotions, and express trust and open-mindedness. Behaviors such as, joy, and enterprising make people have positive energy, while behaviors such as avoidance, selfishness, suspicion, frustration, and depression make people have negative energy. Ninth, Negative Energy Source, ChatGPT Negative energy refers to a negative, pessimistic, and destructive energy that may bring about negative emotions, thoughts and behaviors. This energy can come from a variety of different factors such as stress, anxiety, fear, anger, jealousy, hatred, etc. Characteristics of negative energy include Pessimism, people with negative energy usually have a pessimistic and negative attitude. They may feel depressed and disappointed about the future and lack confidence and hope in life. Complaining and complaining, people with negative energy may often complain and complain feel dissatisfied with their own lives and the behavior of others, and lack understanding and tolerance for others. Self-doubt and inferiority, people with negative energy may lack self-confidence and self-esteem, feel doubt and denial about their own abilities and values, and are susceptible to external influence and criticism. Social barriers, people with negative energy may have disharmonious relationships with others, lack understanding and communication, and are prone to conflicts and contradictions. Health issues, negative energy can have adverse effects on physical and mental health, such as causing anxiety, depression, stress, and other health issues. Negative energy has a negative impact on individuals and society. It may hinder people's growth and development, destroy interpersonal relationships, and even have a negative impact on the entire society. Therefore, it is important to be aware of the existence of negative energy and work hard to find ways to transform it into positive energy to improve your quality of life and happiness. Source, Vogue Taiwan Each of us has countless negative emotions every day. Uneasiness about the future, fear of failure, anger towards villains, desire for revenge. Sometimes I just complain and forget about it, and sometimes I can't get it out of my mind no matter what. If these emotions build up over many years, it will be even more difficult to deal with them. This kind of mud-like emotions accumulated deep in my heart is collectively called inner shadow, and they all belong to negative energy. Negative energy is the so-called negative emotions, such as uneasiness, anger, jealousy, disappointment, cowardice, disgust, pessimism, etc. Usually we do not show it in front of others, and we even think it should be hidden. The problem is, if you think you shouldn't have such emotions and repeatedly reject them, over time it will create stress and inner load. Tenth. Fear. Source, ChatGPT. Fear is an intense emotional and psychological state often associated with the perception of some possible danger, threat, or uncertainty. This is a primitive, instinctive response that helps people react appropriately when faced with danger, such as flight or fight. Characteristics of fear include. Physiological reactions, fear is often accompanied by physiological reactions, such as rapid heartbeat, rapid breathing, sweating, muscle tension, etc. These reactions are part of the body's preparation to deal with potential dangers. Psychological feelings, fear can bring about psychological feelings of uneasiness, anxiety, and uneasiness. People may feel helpless and powerless, and feel fear and worry about the future. Behavioral manifestations, fear may cause people to avoid or avoid the feared object or situation, or to engage in other avoidance or defensive behaviors. Thoughts and imagination, fear may trigger people's negative thoughts and imagination, causing them to imagine various possible bad endings, thereby intensifying the fear. Although fear can protect people from danger in some situations, excessive or irrational fear can have adverse effects on people's lives. People who are in a state of fear for a long time may have an impact on normal life activities and limit their actions and development. Therefore, it is important to manage fear. This can be achieved through various methods, such as facing fears, learning relaxation techniques, seeking support and help, changing negative thinking patterns, etc. Through these methods, people can learn to better cope with their fears and not let them hinder their growth and happiness. Fear can be used by demons to influence people. In culture and religion, the devil is often portrayed as an evil being whose purpose is to lure people toward evil, destruction, and destruction. Demons may use people's fears to achieve their goals, such as controlling people by creating fear, interfering with people's lives, destroying people's beliefs, etc. Demonic methods of creating fear may include Threats and intimidation, demons may create fear through threats and intimidation, making people feel scared and submit to their control. Causing chaos and destruction, 
demons may create fear by causing chaos and destruction, making people feel uneasy and frightened. Exploiting people's weaknesses, demons may control people by exploiting their weaknesses and fears, such as by exploiting people's fears to trick them into committing crimes or performing undesirable actions. Destruction of beliefs and values, demons may create fear by destroying people's beliefs and values, making them feel helpless and hopeless. Although demons may use fear to influence people, people can also deal with fear in the right ways, such as remaining rational, strong in faith, positive thinking, calm, and brave. In addition, social support, spiritual guidance, and faith can help people overcome their fears and protect themselves from demonic influences. Source, Wikipedia. Fear is an intensely unpleasant emotion resulting from the perception or recognition of danger or threat. Fear causes physiological changes that may result in behavioral responses, such as reacting aggressively or trying to escape from the threat. Human fear may be a response to some stimulus occurring in the present, or it may be the anticipation or expectation of a future threat that is perceived as a risk to oneself. The fear response results from the perception of danger leading to fight or flight slash avoidance of the threat, also known as the fight or flight response, which in extreme cases of fear may result in a state of physical and mental freeze out or paralysis. In humans and other animals, fear is mediated by processes such as cognition and learning. Thus, fear is judged as rational or appropriate and irrational or inappropriate. Irrational fears are called phobias. Fear is closely related to the emotion of anxiety, which occurs due to threats that are perceived as uncontrollable or unavoidable. The fear response assists survival by generating appropriate behavioral responses and has therefore been preserved throughout evolution. Sociological and organizational research also shows that individuals' fears are determined not only by their instincts but also by the social relationships and culture in which they find themselves, which guide the timing and extent to which they understand their fears. Fear is sometimes considered the opposite of courage. However, this is incorrect. Because courage is a willingness to face adversity, fear is an example of the conditions that make the exercise of courage possible. 11th. Demon makes war. Source, chat GPT. War can be described as the result of demonic creation. Throughout history, many wars and conflicts have broken out due to a variety of factors, including political, religious, economic and ethnic factors. Among these factors, sometimes negative emotions such as fear, hatred and greed are exploited, and are often compared to devils. Demonic ways of waging war may include Sowing discord, demons may use divisive and divisive tactics to create war, such as creating racial, religious, or political divisions that create conflict between different groups. Inciting hatred, demons may create wars by inciting hatred and resentment, making people feel hostile and hostile towards others, leading to violent conflicts and the outbreak of war. Exploiting fears and insecurities, demons may exploit people's fears and insecurities to create war, making people feel scared and helpless, thereby supporting war and violence. Controlling resources and interests, demons may create wars by controlling resources and interests, such as competing for land, energy, trade routes, etc., to satisfy their own selfish interests. The impact of war on society and humanity is extremely destructive, causing countless losses of life, property destruction, and human suffering. Therefore, in order to prevent the outbreak of war, people need to pay more attention to and respect peace, cooperation, and understanding and work hard to resolve existing disputes and differences to build a more peaceful, stable, and prosperous world. Source, Wikipedia. War is an intensive armed conflict between countries, regimes, ethnic groups, or paramilitary organizations, such as mercenaries, militias. War is characterized by extreme violence, aggression, destruction, and casualties, and may be fought by regular or irregular armies. In wars between countries, since it is often politicians rather than soldiers who trigger wars, War is also regarded as an extreme means of politics and diplomacy. In human society, war is often closely related to politics and is an organized armed conflict between multiple organizations and organizations. Clausewitz believed that war is the continuation of politics. Using force as a means, the purpose is to force one party to obey the will of the other party, usually political intentions, and to make the enemy lose the power to resist through multiple large-scale duels. Such behavior is war. The art of war is the way to fight in war. The situation without war is called peace. Some scholars do not agree that wars are necessarily related to politics. Some wars appear earlier than politics in countries. Therefore, John Keegan believes that Clausewitz's definition is limited and only applies to civilized societies. The definition he gave is, war has always been a manifestation of culture and is often a decisive factor in cultural forms. In certain situations, society is culture itself. If we count the number of deaths since the beginning of the war, the deadliest war in history was World War II with a death toll of approximately 60 million to 85 million. Twelfth. The devil creates poverty. Source, chat GPT. In some cultural and religious concepts, demons may be visualized as symbols of negative forces and considered to be one of the sources of destruction and suffering to human beings. 
When we apply this concept to the issue of poverty, it can be thought that the devil's creation of poverty refers to a series of factors and forces that lead to the phenomenon of poverty in society. These factors may include unfair distribution and social structure, an unfair social structure and uneven distribution of resources may lead to poverty for some groups of people. This may be because power and resources in society are monopolized by a few, while others lack opportunities and resources. Economic oppression and exploitation, demons may create poverty through economic oppression and exploitation, such as through low wages, unfair labor conditions, poor social welfare systems, etc., pushing some people into poverty. War and conflict, war and conflict are also an important factor causing poverty. They may lead to the destruction and waste of social resources, causing people to lose their livelihoods and homes, and then fall into poverty. Natural disasters and disease, natural disasters and disease can lead to property damage and hardship, which can push people into poverty. These factors may all be compared to demons because they have a negative impact on human life and happiness, leading to poverty and suffering. Therefore, in order to solve the problem of poverty, people need to work hard to change the social structure and uneven distribution, improve people's living standards and quality of life, and thereby create a more equitable, stable, and prosperous society. Source, Wikipedia. Poverty is a broad concept with no absolute definition. In Chinese, the two words poverty and poverty mean extreme lack. Satisfaction or otherwise is a very personal feeling. Poverty is not limited to financial shortcomings. Poverty can describe the general living conditions of human beings, which are very difficult in resource shortages. Some people believe that the definition of poverty is subjective and comparative. Poverty may include social, economic, and political concepts. Extreme poverty or absolute poverty refers to the complete lack of materials needed to meet basic needs, such as food, clothing, and housing. The benchmark for absolute poverty is generally fixed and does not vary with the country or region in which an individual lives. Relative poverty refers to a person's standard of living being unable to maintain the minimum standard of others in the same country. So the benchmark for relative poverty will vary from country to country and from society to society. The basic needs that countries can provide will be affected by restrictions or deficiencies in government governance such as corruption, tax savings, national debt, and loan conditionality, as well as by the brain drain of medical or professional personnel. Raising incomes allows more people to meet basic needs including welfare, economic freedom, or financial services. Poverty alleviation, which requires society to give money, love, and help reduce poverty, remains one of the main goals of many international organizations, such as the United Nations and the World Bank. 13th. Prophetic Book. Source, ChatGPT. One a prophetic book generally refers to a book that contains predictions and prophecies about future events or destiny. These books may contain predictions drawn from religious beliefs, mysticism, astrology, the occult, or other supernatural beliefs. 2. 3. The form and content of prophetic books vary. Some may be compiled based on ancient prophecies, prophets, or prophets' words, some may be based on the analysis of astrology or other prediction methods, and some may be compiled by some individuals or organizations. Creation. 4. 5. However, it should be noted that predictions in prophetic books are usually based on beliefs, interpretations, and speculations and do not necessarily have scientific reliability and accuracy. Although sometimes certain predictions may seem to correspond to the development of real-life events, this may be a coincidence rather than true predictive power. 6. 7. Therefore, one should think rationally when reading prophetic books and view them as a form of entertainment or spiritual exploration rather than an accurate prediction of the future. At the same time, People should also maintain a certain degree of skepticism and critical spirit towards any prediction, and think and judge based on science and evidence. Source, Wikipedia. Prophecy contains two meanings. A forecast or prediction of what will happen in the future. This use is not limited to religious connotations. In religion, a message purportedly delivered by the gods to certain individuals, often called prophets. These messages often involve inspiration, dream interpretation, or revelations about the divine will, divine knowledge of the prophet's contemporary world and slash or supernatural knowledge of future events. In a religious context, a prophecy is a message preached by a prophet inspired by or on behalf of a deity, a prophet is a person who claims to have been called by a deity in such phenomena. This concept also includes the declaration of present truths and facts through divine power or extraordinary abilities. The most common prophecies were warnings of the future during times of social or religious crisis. Such prophecies are found in many important faith writings. 14. Self-thinking Independent thinking. Source, ChatGPT. Self-thinking, also known as independent thinking, refers to individuals thinking and judging based on their own opinions, values, and experiences, rather than blindly following external opinions, perspectives, or authorities. This way of thinking emphasizes personal independence and autonomy and encourages people to conduct in-depth analysis and reflection on things. Characteristics of self-thinking include Independence, 
self-thinking emphasizes personal independence and autonomy, that is, individuals should think and judge based on their own opinions and values, rather than blindly following external opinions or authorities. In-depth analysis, self-thinking encourages people to conduct in-depth analysis and reflection on things, and form a comprehensive and rational view by exploring all aspects and possibilities of the problem. Openness, self-thinking emphasizes an open mind and attitude, that is, a willingness to accept new perspectives and ideas, and a willingness to revise and adjust one's own views. Critical, self-thinking encourages people to think critically about information and opinions, that is, not to believe or blindly follow certain opinions, but to make judgments based on facts and logic. Self-thinking is an important thinking ability that helps people better understand themselves and the world around them, and better deal with various challenges and problems. By cultivating the ability to think for oneself, people can be more determined to follow their own path and face various challenges in life with more confidence. Source, Cheers Happy Worker. One fine time to be alone and fully relax. The seeds of creativity need space to germinate. Disagreeing with a certain point of view also requires more brain operations to judge facts and choose a stance. Therefore, if you always ask yourself to make decisions quickly and do not allow yourself more room to think, the result will be that you will follow others' opinions and accept other people's ideas. To chat with the weirdo in the office. Philip Evans, director of the Boston Consulting Group in the United States, observed that there are usually weirdos in the workplace. Listening carefully to the problems they raise and trying to develop appropriate solutions to those weird problems will yield unexpected gains. 3. Make an effort to meet friends from different backgrounds. Chatting with a dignified lady, or chatting with a company CEO you meet in an elevator can expand your experience. 4. Pretend that you are the person who disagrees with you, and then use his slash her position to think and defend your own ideas. 5. Deliberately identify errors in your own thinking. When you hear or see something, don't take it for granted. Look for errors wherever possible. 6. When information is cited as being from an expert, be sure to ask who the expert is. If the source of information is indeed authentic and reliable, try to identify possible biases in the information. For example, the background or expertise of the source may affect the objectivity of the information itself. 7. Read unfamiliar cross-field books. If you like psychology, try history or philosophy. The more unfamiliar the field, the more different stimulation it can have. 8. How do you usually describe problems? Try using other words and languages to describe the problem, and maybe the problem will change accordingly. 9. Listen to your gut. Do you really think so? Does this feel real and reliable enough? 10. Ask the obvious questions. The obvious questions are often the easiest to ignore, such as, can we change the color? 15th. Saint. Source, chat GPT. The term saint may have different meanings in different cultural and religious contexts, but generally refers to a person considered to have outstanding moral qualities, wisdom, and compassion. The image of a saint is often closely associated with noble values, selfless behavior, and devotion to others. In religion, a saint is usually a person who is particularly respected and worshipped. They may be the founder of a religion, a prophet, a saint, a practitioner, or other person with a special status. Their life stories and teachings are seen as inspirational to believers and serve as models of faith and behavior. In addition to religious saints, some cultures also call certain outstanding figures saints. They may have made significant contributions in social, political, cultural, or academic fields, and are generally considered to have extraordinary moral character. An ability. Characteristics of a saint may include Noble moral character. Saints are usually considered to have noble moral character, such as compassion, kindness, tolerance, integrity, etc. Their actions and words are based on these values. Wisdom and insight. A sage may have profound wisdom and insight, being able to see the essence and truth of things and use this to guide his own and others' actions. Dedication and selflessness. Saints usually have a spirit of selfless dedication and are willing to work for the benefit and happiness of others, regardless of personal gains and losses. Connection to the divine, in religion, saints are usually considered to have a special connection with the divine, and their lives and actions are inspired and guided by the divine. Whether in religion or culture, the images of saints are models and role models in people's minds, and their stories and teachings have a profound impact on human moral and spiritual life. Source, Wikipedia. A saint refers to a person who is considered by the public to have special virtue and holiness. In China, ancient sage monarchs and emperors, as well as those of later generations with high moral standards and profound Confucian attainments, are called saints. The sage's introduction often appears in the books of various schools of thought. Some religions specifically canonize saints through certain ceremonies, but there are also saints who are directly revered as saints by the public, such as some religious founders or clergy. There are saints in Christianity, including the Roman Catholic Church, the Anglican Church, and the Orthodox Church, Hinduism, Buddhism, such as the Living Buddhas of Tibetan Buddhism and the Arhats of Theravada Buddhism, Islam, and the Santria of Cuba.
Some New Age people also incorporate the concept of saints into their beliefs. A person may be called a great man, philosopher, or hero if there is no publicly recognized figure canonized by a religion, or if defined from the perspective of another religion that the person does not believe in. 16th. Destined. Source, ChatGPT. The word fate usually refers to a situation where something is believed to be determined by fate or numerology and cannot be changed or escaped. The idea that an event or outcome is predetermined or planned to some extent, independent of individual will or effort. For some people, destiny is a religious or spiritual belief that everything has a grand plan and that everyone's destiny is prearranged and cannot be changed. In this view, people believe that their lives and destiny are dominated by some supernatural force, and that personal efforts and choices only play a role in this destiny. However, for others, predestination may be viewed as a philosophical idea indicating that an event or outcome is inevitable given past cause and effect and external conditions. In this view, people believe that fate is determined by past choices, actions, and environmental factors, and that each person's life is affected by these factors and cannot be completely escaped or changed. No matter which view you take, the concept of fate reflects people's understanding and exploration of life and destiny to a certain extent. However, autonomy and free will are still valuable to many people, who believe that they can change their destiny through hard work and choice, rather than being swayed by fate. Source, National Institute of Education a life of misfortunes, blessings, honors, and disgrace has already been determined by destiny and is difficult to change. Chapter 5 of Heroes of Sons and Daughters, he was also destined to have this catastrophe. Also known as destined. 17th. Napoleon. Source, ChatGPT. Napoleon Bonaparte was an outstanding military commander and politician in French history, and one of the most influential figures in modern European history. Here is some basic information about Napoleon. Life. Napoleon was born on August 15, 1769 in Ayacho, Corsica. He was a member of a French aristocratic family. He came to prominence during the French Revolution and staged a coup in 1799 to become France's leader. Military Talent Napoleon is famous for his excellent military talents. He led the French army in many successful campaigns, including the Italian campaign and the Egyptian campaign. His military strategy and tactical innovations had a profound impact on modern warfare. Political Leadership Napoleon served as the first leader of France from 1799 to 1814, holding leadership positions including first consul and first emperor of France. He led France through a series of political and legal reforms, including the establishment of the French Civil Code, Code Napoleon, which became the basis of the modern legal system. Death and Exile Napoleon's empire reached its peak between 1812 and 1814, but he was ultimately defeated at the Battle of Waterloo and forced to abdicate and live in exile on the island of St. Helena. He died on St. Helena in 1821, ending his political career. Historical Impact Napoleon's political and military achievements had a profound impact on the history of France and Europe. His reforms and legal codes modernized France, while his military conquests changed the political landscape of Europe. Napoleon was a highly controversial figure whose brilliance and achievements coexisted with his ambition and cruelty. However, his influence and historical status make him one of the important figures in history that cannot be ignored. Source, Wikipedia. Napoleon Bonaparte, French, Napoleon Bonaparte, August 15, 1769 to May 5, 1821, was a famous French military strategist, politician, and reformer who served as the first consul of the Republic and Emperor of the Empire. Napoleon is an important figure in world history. Because of his numerous victories and combat commands in his military career, he is regarded as one of the greatest military strategists in history. His massive political and cultural legacy still affects the world today, and therefore the era when he was in power was called the Napoleonic era by later generations. Napoleon was born into a minor aristocratic family in Corsica, France, and rose to prominence during the Siege of Toulon in 1793. In 1796, Napoleon was appointed commander of the Italian army and swept across northern Italy in two years of war, forcing the anti-French alliance to sign a peace treaty. He later led an expedition to Egypt and brought a large number of scientific expedition personnel with him, making a prominent impact on Egyptology. In 1799, he returned to France and launched the Brumaire coup to become the first president. He crossed the Alps and defeated the anti-French alliance in the Battle of Marengo. In 1804, Napoleon was crowned Emperor of France and promoted 18 meritorious generals to marshals of the empire. After the outbreak of the Third Anti-French Alliance War, he commanded the Grand Army to annihilate the Austrian troops at the Battle of Ulm, and defeated the Russian-Austrian Allied forces at the Battle of Austerlitz. In 1806, the Fourth Anti-French Alliance led by Prussia declared war on France. Napoleon quickly defeated the Prussian army at the Battle of Jena-Oerstedt and captured Berlin 11 days later. On June 14, 1807, 
Napoleon defeated Russia in Friedland and became the only hegemon in Europe. In 1808, in order to expand the continental system, Napoleon invaded Spain and made his brother king. In 1809, Napoleon once again defeated the anti-French alliance's challenge to French hegemony at the Battle of Wagram. In 1812, Napoleon launched a war against Russia. However, his elite grand army was limited by the Russian army's scorched earth strategy and lack of supplies, and suffered heavy losses during the expedition. Soon the 6th anti-French alliance launched a counterattack. Even though Napoleon defeated the enemy many times, he was ultimately defeated and announced his abdication. In 1815, Napoleon, who fled Elba, ascended the throne again, but failed in the Battle of Waterloo and was exiled to St. Helena. Napoleon had a great influence on modern society. The ideological trend of the French Revolution spread throughout Europe along with his military conquests, making rationalism and constitutionalism the cornerstone of future political systems. The series of reform policies he promulgated made him widely regarded by later generations as the shaker of the European feudal system and the spreader of capitalism. Liberalism, nationalism, the civil code and the metric system gradually became the world's universal values and standards after the Napoleonic era. Conclusion The complete book and files are placed in the Facebook club Abayo Tells News slash Abayo Tells Stories. HTTPS slash slash www.facebook.com slash group slash 20116750958709850985 slash files slash files. Welcome.